I know what you're going to say. Like you might not have learnt any lessons, but I have. Slight difference. This time, it was me and you in that theatre. We're both going to be questioned. The difference is, I'm prepared to take responsibility for my actions. This could destroy my career! Keep your voice down! We could both walk away from this without... I'm without... sick of doing this! I am sick of going round and round in circles. It always ends like this, us tearing each other apart. It's dangerous and destructive, Nick, and this time it's cost someone their life. Now just hold on a minute. No, I still think we should divorce. Oh. So now you not only want to flush our careers down the pan, but our marriage as well. We did that years ago. We just never accepted it. Well, now I have. Today's the day she chooses to bring this up. Again? you got beautiful timing, Karen. What do you want from me? A little bit of compassion wouldn't go amiss. Well, how about a little bit of honesty for a change? I'm facing the firing squad, and you're providing the bullets. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Oh, I just need to... Uh, mm. It's all right. Sir Jordan is just leaving. Next speak to you. You did drop by, yeah. Practically wanted to write a speech for me on how we should all show a united front for Holby. United front for him, more like. It doesn't matter what they say. I know it wasn't your fault. And you've got to know that too. You're a good doctor. Just tell them the way it was. It's times like this. You've got to look after number one. What happened between Mr. Jordan being paged and his eventual arrival? You were with Mr. Jordan during this time? That's right. Were you present when Mr. Jordan was talking to Dr. Merrick? Yes. What was Mr. Jordan's manner like? Um, quite abrupt. I felt he was rude and not very helpful. And where were you both during this time? In the theatre. Why? We needed to talk in private. Why the need for such privacy, Sister Newburn? We need to discuss a personal matter. We were given our marriage another go, and we needed to discuss arrangements for moving in together. And you knew that Mr. Jordan was on duty along with yourself? I did remind him he was on call. But you continue to distract him despite the conversation he'd had with Dr. Merrick and was clearly needed back on the ward. Could say that. To distract a doctor on duty to discuss a matter outside the context of hospital business, no matter how personally pressing it may seem, is a serious breach of professional conduct. We feel we have no choice but to recommend to the Director of Nursing that you be suspended from duty until further notice, pending an internal disciplinary investigation. Oh, no, no, this is unfair. I beg your pardon, Mr. Jordan? I just feel what happened there has sit not been down. very well expressed. Please and sit would... down, Mr. Jordan. You'll have your chance to express your side of the events. I suggest we take a recess. Sister Newburn, I would like you to return to this hearing so we can discuss your suspension after Mr. Jordan's testimony. Why? Why did you have to do that? Why do you always insist on taking everything the hard way? As opposed to your way, the easy way. You went right up to the edge there and you threw yourself off. Oh, just play the harassed Dr. Nick. You've got the looks for it. You'll go off no problem. What do you get out of it, Karen? Absolution from the past yeah, or something? Yeah, do you know what? It feels really good. You did not need to do that. Oh, yes, I did. It's called taking responsibility, Nick. Oh. You know, doing the right thing. You should try it sometime. I know what happened, Karen. You've got the full support of the RCA. so unfair. You don't deserve that. Don't I? No, you don't. How long have you suspended you for? Until the disciplinary investigation. Well, we're all behind you. You know that, don't you? That's right. Is that all, Mr. Jordan? No, Mr. Givens, it isn't. If there's still any doubt about the conduct or character of Karen Newburn, I would like to state for the record that I forced her to stay with me in the theatre. 
She would never do anything to compromise the care of the patient. She's one of the most dedicated professionals that I have ever worked with. It's a real credit to this hospital. She's also my wife. And I love her. Thank you, Mr. Jordan. If you would like to leave, we'll consider our decision. Alexander's condition was an unforeseen complication that was not directly related to the coronary artery bypass grafting. However, there was clearly some negligence in her post-operative care. Mr. Jordan has stated that the blame lies with him. Sister Newburn will have her suspension revoked. Mr. Jordan will receive a written warning and his progress will be closely monitored for one year. Thank you, everyone. I did some really good work in here. Yeah, you did. I'm going to resign. So what are you going to do? I don't know. I don't know. A little bit scared, actually. Leaving everything I care about behind. You know I love you, don't you? I also know what you mean when you say it wouldn't work. Doesn't make it any easier, though. Knowing I can't be with you. Thanks for the day. That meant a lot. Uh, it's from Nick. He's finally agreed to the divorce. 